Hello and welcome back to another episode of Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. And we last episode crossed the river, got two fishes, and now we have this gigantic cut up tree in front of us. Which has a Stamelish room in it. Another Stamelish room in it. And a boulder that wants to come down and give us a nice warm hello. <laughs> a silent room. I don't even know what I would have done with my horse if I would have took it with me. It's an octa rock. Oh yeah, I forgot I broke my sword. While fighting this. Um. Uh, stone talus. The bird. Where's that one at? No, this is the, the one we're going to. There's another big tree. A really, really big tree. Start from one end and go all the way to the other. The tree don't even seem logical. Adela Village, De Dea Village Rooms. They have a very big tree in their Dea Village. More jumping, more climbing. It's really, it's a lot easier to travel to any other parts of Hyrule in this game than this one. There's so many hills and they're so spread out, so it's not flat here. Which makes it hard to go with the horses. Because you always stand a chance of riding your horse straight off a cliff. Some splash there, but I thought I had seen something, but there wasn't anything there. Can you take a picture of that? Nope, that's not a picture. Oh, I got a feet. Good picture. New picture. Now we're gonna get you. Good picture of them, too. Place the picture. Now we're going to use Cryonis again to cross this river. Jump. Jump. Jump up. Just slide. 
jump. Jump. We're almost there now. Look at the blocks. That was a nice picture of blocks. No, that wasn't one. After you get this tower, it'll put a lot of, um, uh, a lot of map on our map. This, this base where this tower is at is pretty big. This place right here is where I met my first, um, blade master from the Yiga clan. This place right here, in the middle of this bridge, is also the first place I saw those dragons. The, the Darug and all. The bridge of Hylia. <coughs> I'm surprised we haven't came across a thunderstorm yet, though. I think they're pretty normal in this place, in this specific area of Hyrule. In a thunderstorm, you have to take off your metal weapons and armor because you'll conduct the electricity and it will come and get you. Hello. Hello, Xylophos. Take it. Okay. A brutal ripping edge of the weapon spearhead was a distinctly Lizalophos design. It's literally doesn't lend itself to the extended use. <laughs> yes, please. Keep giving me your arrows. Yay! I wasn't worried about what the little balls drop, but I wanted the ball. Arrow, arrow. Yep. A fishing harpoon. Be better than some of these other things, like these bokoblin arms. Bokoblin. A Zora spear. Will be much better than this torch. And to open these without breaking a weapon, you just place a bomb there and explode. Your stuff kind of goes everywhere, though, so don't do it if you're if you're on the edge of a cliff or anything. Hey. I was just taking all your stuff and got rid of all your friends. Oh, this is boring. Okay, now we go. Continue onward to whatever tower this is, the Baron Tower, I'm pretty sure. Oh, also, if you don't deplete your stamina all the way, it recovers faster than if you deplete it all the way. Like, if you get it down, it takes... It uh, feels as if it takes a lot longer than if you just leave it with just a little bit left. And 
can, you have to wait for the whole bar to be filled before you can use it. Oh, no, 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 no. No, no, get away, get away, get away. Get away from me. Get away from me. Get away. I will remove on you. The only way I was able to run is because, hey, your weapon just disappeared. The common guts. Ooh, was because my weapon was faster than his. That's the only way where I stand, stood in chance to against the uh, blue of a common. Ooh, I don't know if I should have came to this tower. Ooh, I don't really don't know if I should have came to this tower. I'm going to retreat and approach a different direction. You're not going to get me, you know. Especially if only you two only have bows. Oh. My. Okay. Two little folks there. There was two little folks on the other side. There's two of the that know that I'm there. Up there. Oh. And another little folks. I need to get out of here. Is there any side that's not covered in muzzle posts? That's what I'm searching for. I'm going to go all the way around the circle and see if there's not one that's not covered in fire muzzle posts that want to ignite me and turn me into a firework. night and then it's raining so I can't climb and I'm at the end of the road. Bye! Okay, we're gonna have to approach there another day. At least so I can whip out of here. Oh no. Get away. No. Stay away. No, stay. No, stop following me. Marvin, get away. I'm, 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 I don't taste good. I will cause you severe indigestion. Oh no, not this now. It's a thunderstorm! And there's one of them, I don't know who it is. <gasps> oh. This one's apparently not metallic. My bow is not metallic. And my weapon is. I'm going to use this one. Okay. It's a fire! I'm going to hope that this causes enough draft. I'm going to try and create enough draft.
Okay, so let's place a pin because we're going to land it like somewhere around there. But it like pretty much always rains here. I don't even know why it wasn't raining when we came in here. Well, technically if this is real, if I fell in this water like this, I would the, I would perish because the lightning st struck the water three times. Stop going underneath them. So, the Russian passed directly above me, and I couldn't have gotten anything from him because he would have run away. If this is for, I don't know if it's for or not. It, one of these giant things. His name Farouche, and then there's two other ones. I don't know what their names are. something. Ouch. I guess I did just hit you with an arrow, so I, I kind of deserve to be hit. You have to go and get it. While well, avoiding these electric poles that are trying to get us. And without me keep going underneath that. And then he disappears up into a whirlpool in the sky. If you watch a whirlpool opens, you can see. Look, there it is. He goes in the middle of it. And then they come back the next night. It gets all the way in, it closes. And it goes away, as you can see, it's getting... Well, no, I don't really. It's not really getting smaller. Okay, now it's going away. It's dissipating. Go get that scale and find out which one that was. Thank <laughs> you. 
Come on, Link, hurry before it goes away. Hurry, Link. Okay, so I don't need to bring it back up. Ah. Uh, okay. A Svarusha scale, this precious scale fell from the golden spirit, Svarusha. It contains powerful electricity within. You can cook with it, but eating it seems like a waste. I think the goal of that is for the Great Fairy, too. And you also have to use it for one of the fountains, a fountain of wisdom or something. Okay, so now we actually have to get back up there. But there is a shrine on the other side of that. So we're going to go do that first. If I wouldn't have gotten to the shrine, it would have been a real waste because I was right here, so that's why I came here. While we were here. I don't remember at all what was in, what's in the shrine. Skip. Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Cooking secrets. Use more of if in effect impairing ingredients while cooking to increase the effect of the resulting dish. I don't remember what this one is. Oh no. I do remember this one. Okay, so you gotta put a circle bomb at the bottom and a square bomb at the top. And not do that. Press the wrong button. Okay, so I'm going to do this one, and then after it gets up to the top, you need to switch and use it on the top piece. So, detonate. So, there's that now. Aww, come here. Now go in. Works enough. Now, we need to get up on top of here, then you need to detonate it. <laughs> S 
so we actually need to do this again to get that chest. And if I remember correctly, there's something pretty good in that chest. Okay, so we need to run back up here. Turn around, move around. Get up in here. And try to land on that platform. Okay, good. An eightfold blade. Mm, I remembered it. I thought it was something bad on that. I just remembered it was good for the point that we were in. Well, it's better than the common arm. I wonder if the Sheikamon thinks we littered in his his shrine because we put a Bacoblin arm, a style of Bacoblin arm in his shrine. Skip. We got another spirit arm, now we have three. Once we get four, we can go back to Cockerico Village. And we can get another either heart container or stamina wheel, which we're probably going to need a heart container because we have went onto the verge of finish too many times. So, Cryonis. And it's still raining, like always. So, I'll see you in the next episode. Bye.